Hello students, we'll see PWM signal generator. PWM is widely used in industrial control. We know in DC motor interfacing, we have seen that to run the motor with some duty cycle, duty cycle means it's given in it's given in percentage like 50% duty cycle, 20% duty cycle, 75% duty cycle. So like that. The duty cycle means what? It is the signal is high for that much time. So the PWM generally generated using CCP module. It's capture, compare, PWM generation module. So there are some steps we have to consider and some formulas are there in pwm two factors are important what are the that factors the period of the pulse and its a duty cycle when i say 20 percent duty cycle from 5 milliseconds that means it should be on for 1 milliseconds because the 25 percent of that 4 milliseconds and 3, three milliseconds will be off. They use CCP module and timer 2 and PR2 resistor. So we'll see the calculation. Here is a time PWM time is equal to PR2 plus 1 into 4 into N into T oscillator. What is mean by it? PR2 is a register which holds the count for the PWM pulse whereas the TPWM means the time of that PWM pulses this N is nothing but prescaler the prescaler we already seen in timer and the 4 is by because we are using internal clock frequency that's why it's divided by 4. The T oscillator means your crystal frequency. So T oscillator is nothing but here 1 by S F oscillator that is crystal frequency. So N is the value of prescaler 4 is Automatically, we can using the machine's internal machine cycle clock frequency. So, machine cycle divided by 4 and PR2 and the PWM is the actual time of that frequency. So, PR2 is equal to F oscillator divided by F PWM into 4 into N minus 1. I say it is used with timer and CCP module. For PWM generation. So for that we are using timer 2 control register. So timer 2 is not in our syllabus but we have to right now I'll explain you what is mean by it and what are the bits in T2 con. T2 con is a timer 2 control register. The first two T out PS3 and T out PS2 and T out PS1 decide post scale value. Post scale value. We are having two prescaler and post scaler. So this three will decide the post scale. If it is 0, 0, then it is 1 as to 1 post scale. If it is 0, 0, 1, then it is 1 as to 2. If it is 0, 0, 1, 0, then it will decide this 4 will decide the post scale. 0, 0, 1, 0, all 0 will decide the 1 as to 1 post scale. 0, 0, 0, 1, it is 1 as to 2 post scale. 0, 0, 1, 0, it gives the 1 as to 3 will. So we are having 16 combination with these four bits then tmr2 on it is tmr timer 2 on and off it is one means enable the timer to 
and start the timer and zero means it is stop the timer too then these two will decide the prescaler prescaler value if it is zero zero then its scale prescale is one if it is zero one then prescale is four and if it is one one it's decide the 16 this will goes over here if the value is more than 255 the value is the pr2 value is more than 255 because see pr2 is 8 bit pr2 is how many bit register it is only 8 bit so 2 raised to 8 will gives only combination up to 255 that means if your pr2 value is goes beyond it is greater than 255 we have to use prescaler either divide by 4 or divide by 16 we are having how many combination 1 as to 1 we are having 1 as to 1 1 as to 4 and 16 how many combination we are having 1 6, 4 and 16 combination if it is more than 255 divide by 4 if it is in the range then take the value of 4 so t2 con timer 2 con register is there then then we are having this dc dc dc1 b2 and dc1 b1 decimal points this is for ccp1 con to set the this count 10 bit counts there are 10 bit register 10 bit count is of 10 bit but uh, we don't have a 10 bit register so the 8 bit is from T ccp1 ccpr1 l and 2 bit from ccp1 con once again to set the duty cycle ccp module use the 10 bit register 10 bit register is from dc1 b9 to dc1 b0 so the 8 bit is from ccp r1 l and 2 bit from c ccp1 con so this 2 bit is from ccp1 con see duty cycle i say 25 percent so this is your total time from total time only 25 percent is on here total time is this so only 50 percent is on and 50 percent is off this is total time 70 per 75 percent is on this is 75 percent is on and 100 percent dc means is totally on so what are the steps are involved in PWM generation. Set the PWM period by writing PR2 registers. We have to calculate the first count. Then set the PWM duty cycle by writing CCPR1L for higher 8 bit. Set the CCP pin as output because the CCP pin we have to use to generate. There are two pins are assigned for the CCP. Then using T2 con register, set the prescale value. Then clear the TI timer to register because we have to load the value into it. Then configure the CCP1 con register for the PWM, whether it is 50%, whether it is 75%. Then start the timer to. Here I have taken one program. Create 2.5 kilohertz PWM frequency with 75% duty cycle. From 2.5 kilohertz, 75% will be on and 25% will be off on the CCP1 pin. So, first of all, CCP1 con will make a zero. Then, PR2, uh, I have taken as a crystal frequency 10 megahertz with a prescaler 4 and no postscaler. Then, I used I calculated 186 because the PR2 into see here I want to show you uh, PR2 what is the formula PR2 is equal to 
f oscillator divided by f p w m into four into n minus one. I got the value is more than two fifty five. That's why I've taken this prescaler with four. So I got the value is two forty nine. Then this is one eighty six. It's seventy five percent of this two forty nine. Then make as a CCP pin as a input. Then T two gone. Now turn on the timer two. CCP one gone. In earlier slide, what I say it is of seventy five percent. So make it this one. This is one. Then C. In earlier lecture, CCP module I explained this CCP one con. See this will decide the capture compare mode, capture mode, compare mode. So this one one actually if this is zero is zero is don't care condition. So the binary number is one one zero zero. And this is one one four. This is one one four seventy five percent. So we are having three C zero cross three C. Once again, these four will decide. It is capture mode. It is compare mode, or it is PWM mode. So PWM for PWM generation, we use one one in data sheet. They are given one one. Don't care. Two don't care condition. So I take another one one zero zero. So it is C. Then turn on the timer. Clear the timer to TMR two. Then turn on the timer two. And this is from the what I say in interrupt lecture. I explain that this timer two is generated is used as a external interrupt, peripheral interrupt. So This is peripheral interrupt, but we have to check whether it is overflow or not. So it will give the continuous toggle with the seventy-five percent duty cycle. Thank you, student.